Hello everybody, how are you going? And welcome to Bloons Tower Defense 6, a game with monkeys and balloons, but today I want to see can you beat it without any monkeys? Obviously, you have the bomb shooter that has no monkey, the tax shooter, and then the banana farm, spike factory, and monkey village. That is all that is allowed. So with a little bit of help from our open AI friends, it's ended up being high finance, a map that I have not played in quite some time, but at least I've played once, and I know that there is plenty of buildings that need to be built instead of being removed for once. Now sadly, in terms of damage, there really isn't too many options being the bomb shooter and the tax shooter and that is it only shooters of which can I place you guys really anywhere no oh okay I can fit you there and then obviously I don't have rooftops yet but it will come into play soon for now I'll just try to make sure I can squeak it all the way down there so it doesn't really miss anything or going over that bridge it can be the troll or the tack under the bridge so to say and let's just see can round three be taken out roughly maybe not everything but yeah, okay, that's kind of how I expected it to go. A few balloons, but at least the reds are all right. It just needs a few upgrades. So more tax, faster shooting, even more tax. That should allow me just to progress a little bit more. And then I think next will be the bomb shooter. Come on, take that out. Oh my goodness, that is a boatload of balloons that are just blasted through. Now down to 89 lives already on round four. Jeez, at least I know that the tax shooter isn't the one to be choosing, especially not for a map like this where it's just so linear. But oh, every round is just going to be painful unless I can get a whole boatload more tax and bombs on the screen. Greens are just absolutely going to blast through me too no wow so greens are easier than blues or i guess bunches of blues that's surprising if i was to put him up here ah oh, the building blocks it so i guess down here is probably going to be better or oh, everything is blocked everywhere but i think maybe there with a bit more range would let it get the bridge and two sides compared to really only one side so it feels weird but i'll put you where you can't really see anyone and then hope that I can get a bit more help in a minute here. Oh, I don't know the last time that I've bought a bomb shooter but not immediately upgraded it. That is so painfully slow. Oh, what? It can't see? I thought it would just be able to see the bridge. Oh no, okay, well that is gonna have to, uh, I don't know, does it get, I guess it does get a slightly bigger range, but that is so mean. I'll just have to get the missile launcher, I guess, just to be able to see a little bit more. Down to 23, oh no, not even, I've still got a couple to go. 20, no, 19 lives, ow, 19 lives at round 12 now. What? That is completely ridiculous. What am I meant to be doing here? I mean, high finance is certainly not going to be the easiest one for me with these two, but oh, I didn't expect it to be this. Ooh, but now having a little bit of frag action on that missile launcher, I'm liking what I'm seeing nice and fast. I don't even think the tech should have had to do anything there. And so that is definitely the path that I will have to be taking long term, but it could certainly be quite different. Oh, especially when yellow balloons just able to sneak through. No, it's gonna kill me. No, oh. Then all of a sudden, I thought it was going to be all right, and I thought the tax at least, or the, the shrapnel would be able to take it out, but that was utterly insane. I'll try it again, and to see if there is some better placement for some things, but really, it's hard to tell exactly where I can go. That would be remotely better than what I just had. I mean, I guess I can try the tack on this side. I wouldn't think it'd make any difference, but sure, go for it. And then, immediately upgrade, or maybe another tack down on this side. Does that make sense? It's a bit strange, but I guess I'll give it a go. To be fair though, it has been a couple more rounds and I'm yet to lose any more lives. And so it started off rocky, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. But I guess I'm still yet to see how the yellows fare and I'm still a very long way away from round 80. My goodness, I mean, oh, I was able to just to clean this up when I didn't expect it to, but still, it's a long way away. So with extra care taken to make sure that that bomb shooter is as close to the bridge as possible, I'm hoping that it can just now take the reins in a couple of rounds. Can it see it? No, it can't because it's just the perfect curve. If the bridge actually didn't act as a bridge and didn't make them go up and over it would be fine but because it has a slight curve to it it follows the radius the entire way round and so just absolutely give me that missile launcher as I cannot be affording to not have it be active any longer. Now the question does become do I go cluster bombs now? I feel as though Oh, that would be really nice, and I think I might as well just try it out and see what happens. I mean, a recursive cluster is the end goal, of course, for that kind of tier, but oh, I could have gone tack. There's so many options between these three that all fall around the same kind of price. Oh, but yes, okay, well, camera balloons. Obviously, that green is going to be cruising by me, but how am I going to be dealing with that long term? I guess the only one that I've got is village or spike factory, but I can't cover two paths with the spike factory. I think I just have to start saving up for a village because as much as these red balloons are going to get completely shredded and the blue balloons and the green balloons after it hopefully should be all right, there's just about to be a whole bundle of cameras that come after me and I'm not going to be able to really do much about them considering the radar scanner is still thousands and thousands of dollars away. It's a massive investment and so I better hope that I can put it in a good spot. Um, 
I, I really can't though, can I? I guess down low would make the most sense, but it just takes up so much room and also doesn't have the range that I need it to. In a way, it would kind of be nice to put it exactly where the bomb shooter is, so at least it can cover maybe a few more things, but uh, do I also have to build a building to then support it? That's going to be a very expensive endeavor. 1200 plus two grand, 1300 horse, three and a half, then four and a half grand in a couple of rounds. We're not going to be looking too pretty, that's for sure. That's not too far off being able to build a building as long as it's cheap. It should be only yeah, 750. How much is the top one? 500. If I build the top one, oh, I don't know if a village can fit up there, but let's say it can, and I build it for 500. It's not the biggest investment, and it does open up a lot of space for me to put things down. So I'll do that, then put a village up here if it finishes building come on there you go oh 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 no that's a little sniper one. Oh, why'd you have to put the white house right there oh that's such a shame okay well no wonder it was so cheap it's because it doesn't give you that much real estate so i just now need another what 600 ish dollars to be able to get it i should be okay with that let's say oh no oh no i didn't even realize what round it was round 33 no um do you survive this round i i don't know if you do i think you just do perhaps oh just look at the lives just absolutely flying down come on surely that's it okay that's it what is it gonna be 41 oh man and really, out of all rounds to give me a level up, I didn't pop a single balloon and I leveled up. How is that possible for one, but more so? You kind of have to rub it in my face, don't you? Either way, uh, I guess now on to getting more money. Here you go. As soon as I can get this radar scanner, all shall be better. 10 to go. There we go. Radar scanner has been got. So at least if anything comes out now, I can at least pop it. I just want to be giving it also to the tax shooter if possible. But I think that's just a bit too far. Man, you've got some range on you. My goodness. Either way, like I said, bigger radius and a bit of oh, MIB so people can pop anything. Perhaps just for black balloons and whatnot. But bigger radius? No, I didn't think you'd be able to get it. But at least now I can get over to this side and I just have to not die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Round down to 14 lives. Uh which will be about, what, 10 or 9 by the time I'm done here? 8! Oh, is this going to be the enemy? Maybe if I can get missile launcher, but no, I don't think so. Oh, I was wondering if my uh, mana shield was going to be able to save me, but no, absolutely not. I will continue because I feel as though this is actually going all right, and at least I get all my lives back. Now, with two and a half grand, I did also able to get this missile launcher, and I think with a bit of help from this top tack, perhaps being... Oh, if I was to get a hot shot, then it should be able to pop all the leads and just help everyone out in that regard. So I'll get more tax. I don't really think that the range is a super big deal because it won't be able to reach over there, will it? No, it's a very, very tiny thing. So more tax, even more tax, faster shooting, even faster shooting, and hot shots. There you go. A grand down the drain, so to say. Build for 750 is not what I wanted because I want to be saving up for Moab Mauler to then put me on the path to Moab Assassin. Only a couple more balloons sticking through, nothing too major. Everyone is still playing their part. That is a big oh my whoa that wiped what 70 lives off me wow i was not ready for that jeez round 38 came with vengeance oh as much as i want mob assassin i would just love to get recursive cluster because i know how good it would be and how much of a danger zone it would turn that bridge into um sadly i kind of missed the golden opportunity to be able to just get rid of some of the countdown timer of the mob assassin it should still be okay as it's a very long way around and not much damage to be able to break it down prior so I guess I'll have to get more of Assassin, otherwise I just don't think that I'll be able to take this BFB. Oh, that's not where I expected to be coming out, but the Moab out. Surely, don't you break anything down. Here we go. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was a little bit worried that it was going to get broken down there because it was just going to attack it too much itself. But no, I got it and I got rid of it. Perfect. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just the amount of coverage that that thing has is insane. But wow, there's a lot of balloons that are going through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did they all suddenly come from? My goodness. Round 43 had it out for me honestly I, I've retried once and I've also continued once so I just don't know if this map is particularly doable with these two towers on hard I'm gonna just go back to easy and complete it well one without any continues I would certainly hope not but just if I can beat round 80 on easy I've also just realized that I was never able to get a banana farm and that would have made a big big difference last time I mean I'm not sure if you can even really fit one is there anywhere big enough to fit a banana farm maybe these corners it certainly wouldn't fit up there i mean i know you can build buildings but i'm saying before you build a building because that's a, then an even bigger investment let me just have a look no there is no way that a banana farm would fit up there and i think where is it this one what are you 750 does a banana farm fit up there or is it up here or 
Which one is it? I can't remember. Is it $1,500? Oh, I don't know. Also, now that I have a little bit of cash behind me, I just want to see, can I fit the village in the middle? No. Wow. Okay, so I'm glad that I didn't put the bomb shooters left and right so I could put the village in the middle. That would have stuffed me around big time. In that case, I guess I'll just sneak this guy in wherever possible, right about there. Same spot makes sense as I've got nowhere else to put it. I could build a building, but I'm not really exactly at that stage just yet. I could get regrow block it, but I'm also not at that just stage just yet. And so you can go... I guess right exactly where you were last time, as close to the village as possible. I think also considering I've got the missile launcher so quickly, I can afford to not get extra ranges. I'm not going to gain myself much. You can see the bridge, you can see the sides. It's just going to be gaining a little bit here and here. And I think bigger bombs and heavy bombs are going to be better for that. So heavy bombs for you and Moab Mola perhaps can just go right next door, if not right here. Yes, look at that. I can now get that plenty of time before round 40. Not going to have to be just trying to balance the entire thing and wait for it to come out before I get it. Look at this, all the camos, all the balloons, everyone is getting popped. I guess I can now even be getting bigger radius to allow a couple more sneaky ones in here, perhaps, if I can just... Uh, I thought I saw you for a second. Oh, no, the village came in, but I can't... Oh, no, I did actually see. There we go. Perfect. That is what I want. I could get hot shots, but I think that I won't. I'm just going to take that off order stuff first, but what do I want? Hot shots or just another tax sprayer? As I've got the bomb shooters, so I don't really think I need hot shots. But something that I kind of do want is recursive cluster. Or do I just look at getting a banana farm? I think it's one of the outside buildings. I think the most expensive buildings provide you the most real estate, and that's what you're going to need for a big old banana farm. And so. Uh, this one? Whoa, 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 I accidentally played it and I didn't even realize what I was doing anymore. There we go, let me just take you out before you get any further or honestly get taken out. That was close. Obviously, that does say victory, but I don't particularly consider it to be a full victory, not the one I wanted. And so free play it is, but I'm just, first of all, want to be buying this building and grabbing a banana farm as soon as possible. Come on. I mean, I could have done it, but there we go. You just go right about... Come on. There, there you go. I could get another. Should I get two? Oh, I know that the rounds are getting a little bit difficult, but I think two should be better. Hopefully that's not too much of an overinvestment in banana. Whoa, well I was just upgrading this guy and I've realized how much range they now have, and that is even without having extra range. Honestly, these guys can have so much range, it's ridiculous, but I'm certainly glad that I didn't get extra range because the top tier monkey village has just been going through and making it very, very easy to see, honestly, half the map. Whoa, what? I couldn't fit another tack in there. That's insane. Can I do it on this side too? Wow. Wow. Well, I said I was running out of room, but I really... Oh, what? And on the stairs. I mean, I'll buy it just for the sake that I'm curious to see if I can actually get it to reach anything, but that is very, very tucked away in there. Um, let me just get long range tacks and super range tacks. Oh, maybe, maybe it will be out of reach by the end. That That is a ridiculous tower. There's no reason for that to ever exist and I shouldn't have bought it, but I just couldn't help it. I was too curious. Regardless, let me just go up and get these guys some pops as well. I'm just going to continually save up for more Mario of Assassins as there's no reason for me to get anything else considering their range and their popping ability in the later rounds. I'll grab one of you. Look at this. The range already is insane. I could and I almost kind of want to get a bottom path one as well. I mean, I guess these this guy has even more range or no he doesn't how does that work it has longer range but it ends up with less range than the longer range anyway i guess i'll just go middle path it is then all the way up bigger bombs a bit of strong all the way up oh that's not exactly what i wanted but i'll i guess i'll take it now sure recursive cluster it is and then faster reload it is no oh i don't know anymore whatever it's not a big deal <sighs> how long should i get it 10 seconds three seconds one second maybe just get rid of it now oh i just popped it before i could get it. i was hoping to try and take it out and i don't even know if you do leave it to the last second would it take it out in one shot or not regard it wasn't even a drama look at that it was it was fine everything was fine the rounds will continue this really is just so different to hard and honestly look at this i have so many balloons on the screen and i have abilities but i don't even need to use them so you know what it is time to just expand just time to build and time to continue on look at this double double buildings over here i'm not too sure what i want to be putting on them but i have a fairly good idea idea especially considering i've only got two options about what will end up on them and so i think it is just about time that i just sit back and just reap the rewards you know i've got only so many options and i need just to be flying through these rounds there's not much i can do besides just put tax and bomb shooters down and i guess the occasional villages i don't really think i need any more money i've only got so many options at my disposal and i just need to be crewing through these rounds there is no time to waste
And look, I just couldn't help myself as I thought I was doing alright on the big balloon department, but I just had to go ahead and grab a bomb shooter level 5 or tier 5 on the bottom path, just because why not? I mean, it's got 105,000 pops, I think it may be the champ, I mean it was before, and especially with that right there, oh, a bit of primary expertise on top of that. I think that'll be the way to go. See, this is what I meant when I was saying that I was gonna to have to wait for them for forever. Look at these four guys. They just don't know what's about to hit them and it's going to come in stages. You've got the first stage, which is just a single poor tax shooter. Then you've got a couple more guys over here, which does start to ramp up and then, as soon as they turn this corner and start making their way towards the bridge, the trolls are going to come knocking for their tolls. Look at this. Every single person is going to kick in and oh my goodness, they do not know what suddenly hit them. I didn't or haven't even used any of the abilities just to do that and they were fine. Every single person got taken out instantly. Just mere moments though, I will be getting primary expertise. Come on. It's only a couple hundred bucks. There we go. Primary expertise is mine and that will make a big difference and it can also do some damage, which is just an extra bonus. Why not? Round 8. 80 soon. Oh, actually, round 80 soon. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean round 90 when I actually say that. Uh, round 90, I guess I might just get MIB, but I really think that the DDTs may come creaming through me, as I don't know how I will take these guys out, as they're black balloons, aren't they? Look at this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I don't know what took that out. Was it maybe the cluster bombs? Interesting interesting to learn. I just expected them to go straight through me. However, given how far they got, I don't know if round 96 is it. Round 96 will go too well. I think that it may be a bit of a problem. And so I'll grab MIB for those guys to maybe be able to help out. But I think we're almost at the end of the road about how far, given what I've set up, will take me. Wait, was that? Wait, am I? Did I see that right? It looked like actually the primary expertise was the one that took that out. Out of everyone, it was doing a whole boatload of damage to the fortified BFBs before anyone else could. And then the DDTs came flying out. And I think it was the, one of the major, uh, not victims, maybe perpetrators of the DDT's demise, which is crazy. I don't get how that would ever work, but hey, I'm here for it. And let's just see, now that it's round 95, will it be able to keep them all there? Oh, it will be the end of me. Look at that. Oh. Oh my goodness, the tier 5. I was going, what just happened there? But of course, the tier 5 kicked in, and I guess even though the bomb shooters can't take it out, the bomb shooters also can take it out. I blinked and all of a sudden these DDTs were halfway through the map, but oh, of course, it was just able to save me again, and it took them all out, and even ended the round, of which, actually, that was round 99. Hello there, Mr. Bad. Yeah, given the amount of damage that is already on you right about now, I think it should be okay, and honestly, I don't know what took those DDTs out. I spammed the... Hang on. Oh my goodness, I spammed all of my abilities for the DDTs. I think that's what took them out, the couple of guys that can see them. In case, I guess actually no, most people can see them because they're all in range of the middle. Yeah, they've got radar scanner, they just don't have the MIB. But then a few more have gone through, the balloons have gone through, and I've continued to spam it, and the ability went off, but it didn't clean up everything, but I still managed to survive. Wow, with 35 lives remaining, it almost took a heart, no, it almost took 200 lives off me, and I was still okay. Or I think I had about 200 before. I don't know, did I lose any or not in previous ones? Hmm, interesting. Well, DDTs will be probably the demise of me, but let's just say the ability went off again, and oh, there we go, it did. Wow, the ability went off again, but obviously it can't just continually go off, and that will be that. At around 102, the balloons beat the non-monkeys, and that truly is what it is. You know, if you had monkeys, you can go further, but with no monkeys on high finance, which isn't an easy track, I'd say, especially given the towers that are at my disposal, that's what it is.